if you want to measure the load, the CPU load on a Linux system, you always talk about free values, free sliding averages. We have free sliding averages. The first is the sliding average over the last minute. The second one, the second field is the sliding average over the last five minutes. And the last one is the sliding average over the last 15 minutes. Yeah. So if you look over the last 15 minutes, then we have a load average of yeah, nearly one. Yeah. If we take the load average over the last single minute, then we have a load average of only zero. So we see that the system is currently at no load, I would say. What do these, these values mean? Yeah, what's what's the purpose of these values? And um, if you would call on a system a command like PSAX, for instance, to show you every process active on a system, you typically would see a list of let's say 50 or 100, even 100 processes on a system active. Yeah, but most processes are most of the time sleeping. Most processes on a system, they do nothing, nothing but waiting, waiting for user input, waiting for a network packet to arrive, waiting for the perfect time to run. Yeah. So most of the time processes are sleeping or waiting and then they want to run. They want to process the, the data the user has entered. Yeah. And then they have to run. And if they want to run, they need to go to the process queue. There is a queue for all the processes that wants to run. And there is a part of the kernel, of the Linux kernel, the process scheduler. And then every time the process scheduler has free resources on a CPU, the process scheduler goes to the process queue, takes the first process from the process queue and feeds the process to the CPU. Yeah. And then the process runs for some milliseconds and then the process scheduler again goes back to the queue, takes the first process in the queue and feeds this process to the CPU. Yeah. So you have a process scheduler and every time the process scheduler uh, goes to the process queue, it notes the number of processes in the queue and then it calculates the average, the average of the numbers of processes within the queue over the last minute, over the last five minutes, over the last 15 minutes. Yeah. And this is what the load average stands for. How many processes want to run in parallel on the system? How many processes wanted to run in parallel um, over the time frame of the last one, five or 15 minutes? Yeah. So, if I start a command that wants to run all the time, let's start such a command. Let's take as an example, the cat command and, and let's print out a special device file called div zero. This special device file gives you as many zeros, byte zeros as you need. Yeah, one zero after the next. And then let's simply redirect this stream of zeros into a second special file called Dave Null. Yeah. You can feed anything you want into this file, and this the data you feed into this file is will be forgotten yeah, instantly. So now I have a command, a cat command that runs all the time and yeah, takes zeros from Dave zero and puts them into Dave null and then the next zero and into Dave null and so on and so on. Yeah. Now we have a command running over and over again and I start this command in the background so that I have my prompt. Yeah. And now I have this single cat command. And now if I observe the load average for a minute, then I will see that the load average, the one minute load average will go up to one. Yeah. If I start a second cat command yeah, and I will observe 
the load average, then I will see the one minute load average after one minute go, this load average goes up to two. Yeah. And if I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these cat commands, yeah, then the load average will go up until 10. Yeah, just because I have 10 cat processes that want to run in parallel. Yeah. And if you have a look at the load average here, you see then we have a short high a spike within our CPU load. And just because the long uh, the short lasting, the short lasting load average is higher than the long long lasting load average. Yeah. So you, you know that you observed you, you are observing the system during a short um, peak. Uh, a short CPU load peak here. Yeah. The other way around, if the short term, the short period load average is lower than the long term load average, yeah, then you know, you see, you observe the system during a cool down, for instance. Yeah. Okay. So, but what does this mean? Yeah. A load average of now seven. What's, what's the meaning? of this load average, is our system overloaded or not? Yeah, And um, the number we are searching for here or we need to talk about is the number um, of how many processes can be run in parallel without slowing them down on the system. And the number we are looking for is the number of CPU cores. Yeah, Just because one process can run on or one thread, yeah, can run on one single CPU core. So if you have multiple CPU cores available, then you can have multiple uh, processes run in parallel on the system without slowing them down. If you have more processes than CPU cores, then these processes have to or need to compete, yeah, um, and then they are slowed down.